Good day everyone. I am Dr. Rajesh Ambarpet. I am a medical microbiologist. I come from India. So I am a qualified medical microbiologist with uh, 15 years of teaching and uh, research experience. So today what we have learned in the microbiology laboratory, what I taught to the students is like identification of lab diagnosis of bacterial infection. If any clinical sample which comes to the lab, uh, it is very important to identify what is that bacterial infection which is causing infection to the patient, identify that and which antibiotics are working against it, we need to diagnose in that laboratory. So there is no possible contamination because we have taken only the isolated colonies and it contains only that bacteria. There is no mix up, so there is no need of streaking matter in that. Okay, so gate fixing. Okay. So this is a direct microscopy from a clinical sample, right? Yeah. Okay. So this one you are going to perform a gram stain. Gram stain is a separate experiment which I'm going to take uh, this class. About six to seven lines or five to six lines. Okay. Then close it. You need to heat it so that it is sterile and the bacterial count when we streak further it will reduce and we get isolated colonies. Our aim is to get the isolated colonies. The individual colonies. Can you see the individual colonies here? Yes. In the beginning, there is no individual colonies. Why? Because there is high. The lab diagnosis of bacterial infection. Okay, the clear cut explanation she is going to explain you now. Please listen, and if you have any queries, you can ask. Please, off to you. Okay. All right, so we are going to perform um, identification of bacteria. If you're expecting to have to travel or you are not going to perform the experiment immediately, you put it in a transport medium. So, this transport medium usually the bacteria, but you do the gram staining procedure. Then you view it on your microscope. What are you going to see? You're going to see either um, a, a positive gram stain or a negative gram stain. You're going to identify whether it's cocci or whether it's... So this is one of the unique experience which we are giving in Texas American University. Students should learn on a practical based learning, not just theoretical. We are very much focused on practical based learning which is missing in many areas. Then only they get the clear cut idea about how to correlate the theoretical knowledge to the practical knowledge. And microbiology is very, very important because you see any patient who is coming to the clinicians in developing countries or underdeveloped countries, about 50% of the cases are due to microbial infections. See tuberculosis, see typhoid, see cholera, like this, they need to. So these people, they students, they'll understand how the bacteria or virus or parasite or fungi which is causing an infection what infection it is causing so how to diagnose that so here you can see the uh, we have very good and well established lab across so every week there will be a three hour practical session in that all the a uh, weekly based theoretical knowledge which is demonstrated here in our laboratory so that's all so by this student can learn a practical based learning their knowledge gets improved they can apply this directly so when they see the theory and the practical they can correlate and that will help for them to take a better decision for the patient care thank you